Okay, so I'm visiting my um, husband's, like the town he went to school in, like primary school and stuff. I just came across this poster to this thing. Now I want to go to it. Look at that. What is it? Anyway, there's like a drunk man who's like, bleh, bleh. Here we go. Meat stuff. Oh, look at that. That's so French. Gosh. Look at this. <laughs> they really love pig. Oh, look at they really like the Simpsons here. They actually love the Simpsons pretty much everywhere around the world. It's interesting. Also, Popeye. Big fan of Popeye. My uh, fun fact, my, my in-laws have actually been to um, Popeye Village in Malta, which I've been to. That's like the only thing we have in common other than their son. <laughs> okay, so this is the town. It's pretty. Just went in that tourist office. I'm going to go to something cool tonight, y'all. Oh, look at that. It's so green. <laughs> la, 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 la. See, this is like totally France. You're like, oh, hey, a doorway. It's like a cave. No Dang, look at that. Boom. The thing is, is like, pff, as American, I'm not used to shit being like, old like look at this oh my god i'm walking through a tunnel walking through a tunnel what's on the other side boom my god it's like like my husband went to like primary school here <laughs> it just cracks me up like i spent my whole childhood at malls and like so many french people just walk by crap like this all the time and they're like doo -doo -doo. Well, I, like, I can't, I'm still not used to it. I'm still like, wow, with everything, which my husband finds really entertaining. It's like traveling with a kid. Although he's kind of like that with the U.S., although not really, because they know everything about us. <laughs> we don't know anything about them. Look at that. Wow. It's, I'm amazed at how many things that my husband knows about my country. That I'm like, he's like, yeah, look at graduation. Did you, like, throw a cap in the air? I'm like, yeah. I guess you guys don't do that, huh? And he's like, no. <laughs> He knows about prom, he knows what our school buses look like. It's like the amount of stuff that he knows about my culture. Well, he doesn't, <laughs> it's not until he met me that he realized how much the US really sucks and we just have a really good, you know, campaign like marketing manager or whatever. It's fascinating because he knows so much about my country and I know nothing about his other than stupid cliches like a beret, baguette, smoking, wine. Like we just blast our culture everywhere when i took him to the u.s here i'm gonna give you something to look at when i took him to the u.s he was like oh like he recognized everything you know what i mean like nothing was new for him because he'd seen it all on tv <laughs> well not everything but like a lot for someone who's never been to the u.s he knew everything seemed familiar i guess the same way when i moved to new york i was like wait law and order i remember law and order scene in front of that and that like i knew the whole city by law and order <laughs> In like every single movie I've ever seen, more or less. It's funny because I've been, you know, trying to unpack my whiteness and like just all my priv privileges, but it <laughs> wasn't until I immigrated to another country that I realized just how much. Um, not only is whiteness the default and um, able bodied and, you know, all of those things, right, that I talk about regularly, but also just <laughs> as a US American. You know, I just, in, it's in me to see myself as the default, and I hate that. So I'm trying to unlearn that. Oh, look at this. Look at that. There's that drunk guy is like screaming stuff at me. Oh, the photo will come down. Oh, see, hear him? I love being a woman. I also love that I can't understand what he's saying, because he's drunk and he's saying like sloppy French. It gives me a level of peace, not speaking as fluent as I'd like to. just don't have the bandwidth to even try to um, translate what the, what the hell they're saying. <laughs> Unless I really want to, so uh, that's good. Oh my god, I love it. Look, it's a giant cock. Like, that's like their mascot or whatever here. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, I just pulled over because I got lost. Look at this. Look at this. It's just like crap like this everywhere. Just like, like big old old castles and churches. I just drove past my one of my my husband's like 40 cousins and they have um seven baby donkeys like i'm oh, sorry not baby donkeys like 
miniature donkey. Let me know if you want me to go visit them while I'm here because they're amazing. Oh, and there's also two llamas. One of those is a miniature llama. And then another relative has four like regular sized donkeys. I'm like living, I swear, oh, I'm living like the most bizarre like Disney movie, which is so funny because my life has been nothing like Disney-ish. I hate Disney princesses, <laughs> or at least the ones I grew up with. But I'm like Snow White, except with like, like donkeys. Oh, look at that sweet baby. Look at that sweet baby. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, hi. No.